Hey, Roller Booters, welcome back. Thanks for being here. Today, we're gonna be unboxing the Faction, the brand new Faction Tactical V1 Boot Only Aggressive Skate which I'm amped about, but the only way, the only reason we're able to do this is because of a great friend of the channel, Anthony Renbarger. He reached out and he's letting me both unbox his brand new Tactical V1s and get a first session impression on them. Anthony is the owner of Treehouse Skate Park in Bastrop, Texas. You can check out the video here on my channel of that skate park at card in the corner right here, or you can check out the link down in the description, bo description below. But Anthony is a fantastic guy. He's let me skate these and wonderful dude. Go check out some of his information down in the description. This video would not be possible without him, so show some love in the comments. Okay, and if you don't know much about Faction Skate Company, they are a new skate company, we're gonna go over to their website at factionskatecompany.com and go take a look. So they are a blader-owned company. Uh, Clark Kirkman here is the owner and founder. And they do make hard goods, soft goods, they have some wheels, um, but we're gonna take a look at their team right now. So starting off with Cameron Card, and their team, I should just preface this, their team is amazing. It's absolutely fantastic. So Cam Card, one of the all-time greats, absolutely skated, saw him in person at, um, at Ramping Camp, and it was absolutely fantastic. The dude's a monster. And then, of course, Eric Michael. I mean, the dude is also just a monster. So good. Uh, Jimmy Sizz needs no introduction. There's double-jointed people, and then there's Jimmy Sizz, who I think he's quadruple-jointed. I mean, his the, the amount of things that he can do on these skates is insane. Bl Blade Skillson. And this picture is absolutely hilarious. Dude shreds, absolutely shred pool. And then China Wirestall, last but not least. So man, look, their team is just stacked, man. So I think that speaks volumes about um, that they're all choosing to ride on these skates. And then we'll take a look at the boot itself. So again, it does come boot only, so you'll have to choose your favorite frames to pop on there. Uh, the Tactical V1. And so you'll notice that there are some price ranges here ranging from 380 to 432 and that's because you can have the optional you can opt for the optional fruit tech hardware um upgrade which we'll get to here in a second but if we just read the description really quickly the tactical v1 is our lightweight heat moldable carbon fiber boot with a new buck uh, uh, leather upper the strength and responsiveness of carbon with style and comfort of a soft boot available in half sizes and full sizes with a fully removable liner to get the best fit injection molded glass filled nylon sole plates with a full figure shape which is awesome to provide ample space for positive and negative grinds and we know jimmy says gets down on those negative grinds we are also offering an optional fruit tech hardware upgrade that will include 16 sole plate bolts and then basically i mean every bit of hardware on the whole skate will be swapped out and then they also have some sweet blue anodized washers for the cuff bolts as well and then um so these are not my skates as i mentioned earlier these are anthony's skates um so i won't be heat molding them but th i talked with clark yesterday and he was saying absolutely um totally recommend to heat mold these it's 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 the best way to optimize the fit and comfort of these skates and in, in uh so definitely um if you end up getting the skates definitely look into that Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you if you do end up liking it. Consider subscribing, and without further ado, let's go ahead and open up these skates and take a look. Alrighty, here we go. <laughs> a box in a box. Can't get new skates without new stickers. All right, let's take a look at the box. So these are a nine. So I can't remember exactly what the sizing chart says, but that should be right in line with what I wear. So that's fortunate. Take a look at the box. Real quick. Small because, it's quite small because, well, it's their boot only skates. So, all right, without further ado, let's open them up. Beautiful skates, man. Really wonderful. You gotta love the new skate smell too. <laughs> they smell, they smell awesome. All right, and of course, wouldn't be new skates without a skate tool and a nice little extra Allen key there. All right. All right. Come with some extra laces inside there for you which is pretty cool. All right. And yeah, these feel like nice. Yeah, these are nice waxed laces. So yeah, 
not going anywhere, but that's cool. So it looks like, I'm not sure if this is one, um, I mean, these are two laces, but they're very long. I'm not sure, I can't get it all in there, but. So I'm wondering if these longer laces are intended to be swapped out and then used, because I talked to Clark, when I talked to Clark yesterday, he was, you know, I was specifically asking about the lacing because he had mentioned something about it at the rampant camp. And so I think they include those longer laces so that you can adjust. He was saying there's a lot of adjustability in terms of the lacing system on here. Um, you can see that the boot or it goes all the way up and this is actually a liner. So this has a removable liner, which until I went to rampant camp, I actually didn't quite realize, which we'll take a look at in a second. But understand that when you get these, Clark was saying, um, you can really get pretty creative with the amount of support you want in terms of how you lace them. So you, you, I'm not sure exactly how Jimmy and some of the team riders do it, but you have the option to lace them all the way up for obviously more support or to kind of keep them uh, sort of lower for a little bit more flex if that's what you want. So these look really, really sharp. Again, carbon, full carbon uh, shell here. Very, very high quality skates here, you can tell. Boy, the shell is nice and rigid. It gives that a nice lot of support. I'm excited to, to kind of play with the skates today. Um, after we get done with this video, I'm actually going straight to the skate park to skate these. So stay tuned, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see me actually skate these here in the next video. Kind of take a look, just one glance, big look at the skate here. Very sharp looking skate. It feels very, very high quality in your hands. They have this super reinforced kind of toe cap. That's really, I mean, they, they don't play around with um, with that toe cap protection there. It's really, really nice. Nice 45 degree strap. You can tell all this kind of Nabuck leather-ish, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it just feels really nice in your hands. Honestly, it feels fantastic. So, I'll kind of peel back the 45 degree strap here. Okay, finally got the liner out. That, is, that liner is snug in there, which is cool. They do a really great job. I mean, it's just a professional, kind of professional touches, but the way these come is very, very cleanly laced. I mean, you can tell they take a lot of pride in the presentation, the first impression for their customers, which I think is super important. But we'll take a look at the liner uh, by itself real quick. And a little bit of packing material here. I like the branding on the outside. That looks really nice. And it, this is still that, you know, material that kind of nice suede whatever it is but it feels fantastic we'll grab strap kind of reinforced heel cup Ooh, some more branding on the other side you can tell there's lots of support and you can see i mean the skate without the liner you know comes down quite low um so and this is nice and rigid so it's gonna be interesting the padding feels really good kind of sort of that like stretchy i'm not sure what material that actually is right there but right where your heel kind of goes in obviously the kind of elastic band to keep the tongue in place. Oh, and uh, with kind of the neoprene, it look, looks like neoprene. I'm careful, actually, I'm not sure that this is. It feels kind of stretchy, but it doesn't feel overly stretchy. And so, do do do, 26.7. These might be a little bit on the small side for me, but we're gonna we're gonna skate them and figure, <laughs> and figure it out because I am a 275 Mondo. This is uh, 26.7 centimeter. So they might be a little bit on the small side, but we'll figure it out. Um, we'll take that into account when we're skating them. And we'll take a look at the shell by itself really quickly. So on the inside of the shell, and actually, yeah, they have this nice padded material on the inside as well. Really nice touches in there. It looks really nice. Honestly, a very nice skate. Boy, these are a tight fit, dude. Okay, there we go. Man, those are snug in there. Okay, a couple other close-ups of some nice details that I'm noticing. Nice little accent lace or eyelet, I like that. That's nice. Um, and a couple other little close-ups just for your viewing pleasure. And then the sole plate. Clark was saying, I was just talking to him this morning before I started, but he was saying to definitely do some rough grinds. And I can I can definitely see why. <laughs> These This looks like the perfect setup to be doing rough grinds. If you don't know what rough grinds are, it's basically, if you're doing a Macchio here, it's just like tilting your foot up and still sledding. So I'm excited to try out some rough grinds today. That's gonna be interesting. But yeah, this is a, a quite a, um, pronounced sole plate for sure. The backslide grooves here look really nice. Comes with this mounting hardware here, kind of little recesses. We'll actually pull off the sole plate just to take a look, because why not?
Pretty. Always gotta love the look of fresh carbon fiber. All right, the soul plate by itself here. Again, that nice kind of sound deadening, sort of foam padding material. You can see what's Faction Soul 42, 43. We'll see. I have a feeling they're gonna slide really well. All right, cool. And again, here's just the boot by itself. Looks nice, it looks really nice by itself, honestly. Alrighty, well that's gonna do it for the uh, Faction Tactical V1 aggressive inline boot here, unboxing. Hope you did enjoy it. We're gonna be testing these out. As soon as I get some frames on here, I'm gonna throw some Featherlight 3s on here. I have some brand new them wheels, so I'm gonna pop those on. So we'll see how that behaves, how that works. I'm excited to check these out, so definitely stay tuned for the next video right after this one, uh, at least it should be anyway, of me actually skating these at the local park. So I'm really excited to check them out. Thanks again, Anthony Renbarger, for making this possible. You know, this would not be possible without you. So thank you so much for letting me do this. And uh, roller bitters. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to help get rollerblading out to more people here on YouTube. And with that, rollerbitters, we'll see you on the next video. Take care.